Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video I'm going to go through some stock that came in it's predominantly silver there was a individual who sent me this so thank you for this book it was donated to me I will go through it when I've got some spare time or go through bits of it he just said I see you've been collecting it it will just stay in a loft so if you want it I'll send it over but yeah it's certainly a good addition to my ever-growing collection of books. So thank you for that. And we go through some coins I got in. This came from the gentleman that sold me the last batch. And he he just said, I got some coins, I'll send them over, just pay me what you think's fair. And I just, I didn't even know what, I don't even know what's in there, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's just mixed, I will go for it. So. There is a custom made round. That's an interesting piece. That That's probably just a spot plus X amount play. Probably a trial piece that. So there was that. I don't even know how many ounces there were. I did, I did count them up, but there were some just ordinary Brits. These always do well. There was some Merlin coins. So Robin Hood series. I've had these in gold and silver. I'm assuming these are just seconds. I don't know, but they'll be going for, for bullion prices. There's another Merlin coin. You're probably looking 29, 30 quid in the current market. Um, another Brit this was a an interesting I can only assume this is a Scottish based yes it is it says <laughs> Scottish unicorn I was looking at the the background being part Scottish I was like oh that's a it's kind of funny though because it's Scottish themed and it's from the <laughs> Nui <laughs> oh it's kind of comical I don't think it's the worst, worst coin. I don't know why Scotland has a unicorn. So if anyone knows, feel free to let me know. There's some, oh, I don't even know what this is. Um, let's see if I can get out the other side. I can only assume he imported from the States, sold it on his website and these are the leftovers. I don't personally import from the States. I've never imported from the States. I do import, uh, import, import stamps from Australia, but I don't, I've, I've never imported coins after Brexit and pre-Brexit, it was always from Europe. So yeah, I don't really know. Auto dollar. Oh, that's got quite a famous, there's a reason for that. I can't quite recall it, but it's okay and then there was a couple of uh lion king what i call these crossover coins these these would do okay i guess i to my shame have never seen the lion king i don't recall ever seeing it as a child i did have a tv i wasn't an impoverished child I was working class but <laughs> there wasn't a lot of money but we did have a tv but I've, i can't recall ever seeing it so that was that little box. There was a couple of tubes. These are poorly struck <laughs> for sure. <laughs> the strike on these is terrible. Generics, not a problem. I don't think, I think they're all all the same yeah they are they are in this one i don't know about the other one there was another tube so those come in i'm always happy to to get bits like that because they're very useful for postage i will make a video on that because there's been a few people said oh can you talk about the postage why it's so important to you and i think 
I think I'm at the point where it's actually quite an important video to make. It might give a few people some ideas. And I've, I've actually, I say one, but clients have come to me just to buy postage from me, from just mentioning the postage side of things, which that wasn't really my intention. It just goes hand in hand with what I do. So these are, I think they're Sunshine Mint. SMI maybe? I'm not too up to date, but they are poorly struck. They look like the chocolate coins you get at Christmas. <laughs> they're, not, they're not great. All right, so. Ah, yeah, there was something different. Poseidon? Nope, Trident Silver, although that will be the image of Poseidon. So I wasn't right, but I wasn't wrong. That's um, different. I think that's the word I'm gonna stick with. So you've got two of those. It doesn't doesn't make any difference to me. It's it's all gonna be priced at the same. So my job over the next few days is to burn through as much of this as possible just to get rid of the postage. So that was that little tube. You know, I'll leave that there. There were some premium coins, which I paid extra for. Some of these are gorgeous. This is a this is a coin. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, <laughs> I saw that and I thought, bloody hell, who designed that? Very talented individual. I, it's a very busy coin, but I think that's, I think that's splendid. What a fantastically well-made coin. Um, there was Achilles. I paid a slight premium. I paid. I paid more for these than I did on the last batch, but I think these were better quality. Or maybe not. Okay, fair enough. I don't mind. If I've paid slightly over, then it's okay. Or maybe that's just the design. I, maybe I've got that wrong. Maybe that's just the design of the coin. Maybe, because I've seen that. That's quite a consistent cut mark. I think I've got that wrong. I think maybe this is meant to be a shield and that's the design. If that's the case, then I've probably slightly underpaid on the the other ones he sold me because I thought they were seconds, which it's fine. I'll, I'll look after him. <laughs> He's my boy. <laughs> um, this, yes, okay. This is, uh, I kind of like it. I, I don't dislike it. It's, it's interesting. Not really a fan of this side, but... I think this is this is done well. There was some antiqued fifty cents. I just paid him spot for these. I think he was playing around with antiquing at the time. He's always jumped from one thing to the next. He he must have just imported from Macmex because a lot of the stuff he sent me is um, come from Macmex. I'm I'm not. I don't really know where people order from. Like, I, I don't ask. I've, I don't find it annoying, but when people ask me, I always tell them I can't tell them because that's part of my business and I've got to protect my income, you know. But it doesn't matter so much these days, but it's just one of the few things I would never give away. But I think he's he's tried to antique these himself and these are maybe the leftover ones. He's just kept them in the, in the sleeves. There was... I'm gonna leave those to last. There were some sterling silver medallions. These are 35 grams of pop. I just paid spot on these. I've had these in the past. I wasn't a fan of them. I bought them from a dealer that I was kind of hoping big things would happen with. It didn't go that way. He's disappeared off the face of the planet. Or maybe he just doesn't want to deal with me. It could be either. I'm not the easiest of people at times. That's understandable. I've got a couple, I say a couple, I've got three of these. So I don't really know, I don't know anything about these whatsoever. Okay, so that's a very hard sell if you ask me. I, I don't think there'd be much money in these. It's essentially, uh, proof coin in a box but I've got three of these I dread to think what he paid he's probably bought them in and hope they'd do something and they haven't 
Um, I'd say he's probably done, he's probably bought five in and sold two of them and then I've been left with the other. But that's just speculation on my behalf. I, I don't really know. But I think our, the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. I'm sorry if I've butchered that. Um, feel free to correct me. This is a learning channel. Okay, so there's three of those. I'll put those back on the side. There was a couple of these. These are very interesting. I thought he did me a turn on these as well. Eight gram silver cap. Now, for those of you who've been long-term viewers on my channel, and I mean super long-term, one of my very first trades, or one of, one of my very first deals was I got a load of these in the Coca-Cola format. And I remember buying, it was maybe 40 or 50. They come in a box, a big box. And they didn't come like this. They, they had their own individual boxes and their own tins. And I just remember having my head in my hands thinking, what have you done? Why did you buy these? Um, and then they did very well. <laughs> they absolutely flew. <laughs> so I sold out of my allocation, couldn't get any more. And the price skyrocketed. <laughs> Sometimes you need to back your gut on these things. I think it works. For the price I got these in at, you know, not a problem. I think I'll double my money just on these these two. Everything else is, is a very small margins, but I think these will do okay. Um, I think I penciled in, I think he wanted £12 for the pair. I think it was. There's, they've got to be worth, I'd say, 12 15 a cap. Just, just as a gift, like you could buy that as a gift. I think someone would like that. Someone who maybe likes America or someone who's into bottle cap collecting. And there's plenty of them, plenty of people who do that. All right, last but not least, I will go through the poured stuff he sent me, which I'm not really a massive fan of poured. I find it's very much flavor of the month, but I do like what he sent me. And I'm not saying that to talk these up. I'm saying it because I genuinely think they're pretty swish. So, Let's go through them. Not all of them. These, I, I think these are these are mint. I think these are really cool. So I paid a premium on these. I don't know what they're going to go for. I don't really know much about the poured uh, silver market. I've always tried to stray away from it. It's never really been my cup of tea. I think that's one of the reasons why I used to get frustrated with a certain channel, uh, but that's a preference thing. I'm, I'm going to reiterate that it's a preference thing rather than a, a personal dislike thing. But I think the, these are well made. These are probably not poured anyway. These this this will be poured. That will be poured. But I don't I don't know. I'm not up to date with the the techniques for making bits like this. It's it's out of my remit. I'm. I'm the coin expert, I'd say. The coin dealer. I'm not an expert in everything, but I think these are really well made. There's a couple of one ounces and there's four half ounces. They do well. There's a silver heart, which is pretty cute. You could give that to a partner of yours. They'd, you know, it's got a smiley face on it. They, you know, they'd probably like that. Probably lose it. <laughs> you know, it's the thought that counts. And there is this button. Reckless metals, again, I don't know. And I think this is part of the problem with this part of the market. So you get all these brands come up and they it's like grand opening, grand closing. And then the name, it, it doesn't mean much, or at least to me, it, it means something to a small amount of people, but in the grand scheme of things, like who are reckless metals? I, I don't know who they are. Um, but you could replace the name with something else and I wouldn't know who they are. There's very few that kind of stand the test of time, or at least that's been my experience over the years. And I know there is a, a better market in the States for this. Um, the UK isn't the best of markets for poured bits. I've seen pourers come and go. I've seen some really poor quality pourers. I've seen some really good quality pourers in the, in the UK. There's a gentleman, and I will name drop him because I think he's, his items are, are that good. There's a gentleman called St. Bees. I think he makes brilliant stuff. I think he's, he's really pushing the boundaries of what can be done. Would I buy it? No, it's not my cup of tea, but each to their own.
but that's my views on it. That's why you don't really see much of stuff like this because when it comes to me, I've got no idea how to connect it to the right buyer. So the brutal reality is someone like me is gonna pay you typically what I'll pay you for coins. And there might be a big differential between what you paid and what I pay you. And it's not because I'm, I'm greedy, it's because I don't know how to price it because most people mark it down instead of mark it up, which I think is a shame, but that's just my experiences from the last eight, nine years of trading. I hope you've enjoyed the coins. Don't think there's anything else to show you. It's been a real mixed bag. Um, I will have another video because I do want to talk about stamps. I do want to talk about gold confiscation. Um, yeah, hopefully I have another video tomorrow and then one the day after, but we shall see. I need to move a lot of stuff. Oh, and I got some 50 gram, I got one, 50 times one gram bars coming in. So I might make that a video talk and do it that way. Hope you enjoyed the content and I'll see you on the next one.